We are here at the new property in Oklahoma and I am pumped, super pumped. If you could tell, the truck is way down over there. So the property goes from the truck way over there all the way to right over here. There's a uh, marker. I know it's gonna be loud with the leaves, but I don't know if you can see this, I'll get right up on it. But here is the uh, marker here. And then there's one directly across and then, of course, two of them way down there. So I figured since it's been a little bit since we've been here, I will go ahead and kind of walk it a little bit, get an idea. And then I got to set up the tent. I got to set up um, a place for fire, get some wood. I bought water. Uh, I need to go fill up a big jug that I got of, um, for water. So I'll probably go down to the river in a little bit in a little while. So for now, I just gonna jump right in i literally just got here called my parents let them know i made it and uh of course dutch hit me up and i told him i made it and um just get busy so what i'm thinking just right off the top of my head right here where you see the greener trees it's pretty flat there so i'll probably set up there and i could probably put sticks and stuff up on trees and kind of make a little uh fence if you want to call it that so i'm gonna go explore if i see anything cool i'll let you guys know I don't know if y'all can hear that. I heard a bunch of running and I was like, oh, there's already gonna be wild dogs or loose dogs out here running around. There was probably like 20 deer that was right there. They just all went running. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm not trying to hunt or anything right now. I don't know if you can hear them. They're running again. But that's super cool knowing that uh, I've been here all of five minutes and already saw like 20 deer. So that's super cool. I think Dutch left a, uh, a, a deer feeder here. So if so, I'm going to get some corn and see if I can't catch them on a uh, trail camera that I brought from the ranch that we had from there. So pretty cool. All right. So I came down. As you could tell, it looks really, really steep going straight up. So the land comes like this and then it starts to drop like that and that's where that is but I didn't know look at this it's not much but there's running water so no I'm not going to drink it or anything but knowing that there is some type of water down here is a huge plus uh that means animals will be coming up which is also a negative but we'll be able to make sure that uh there is a little bit of water down here, and if I had to, I could come get some bucket fools and take it up there if I need to, uh, you know, get a last minute shower or something of that nature. So, pretty cool again. So, another cool thing are these rocks. I want these rocks so bad on this property. This is the first one that I've seen like this. As you can tell, it's pretty big, but I could easily carry it if I need to. It'll probably roll down this hill down in that water if I let go. So I'm going to try to carry this up there, but I'm going to use these for like fire pits, stuff like that. So I'm going to haul this up. Whew. All right. That was a workout getting that rock up there. Deer feeder. Dutch put this here three years ago and it's still here. So... That tells you how much people don't come out here because you know someone would have stole that. So I'm going to end up putting corn in here and seeing if we could set up a trail cam and get those deer and there's moose and turkey. I think hogs out here. So it'd be pretty cool. I'm going to go up there, catch my breath and explore the other side. So before I head down on this side and we have some sun, I went ahead and put out all these solar lights. That way I'll have uh, some type of light tonight. One of them is a spotlight, that just like a flood lamp thing that I just got at uh, Lowe's. And then the other four are actually from a viewer. I cannot remember who. Um, I wanna say like Wayne or Grady or one of you guys sent those a while back at the ranch. And of course we didn't get to uh, put them up there. So I'm gonna get good at it, good use out of them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, explore this side but this is where I'm thinking of putting the tent 
right in this little area here. I'll clear up some spots out, but I get the cool little uh, trees here. So it makes me feel like uh, I'm out here camping. That way I'm not thinking, what in the world am I doing here? Like I'm gonna live in a tent for now. You guys suck yourself up and then, uh, or out. And so uh, then I can have logs that I can go find. They're pretty much everywhere. And I can kind of stack them like that and maybe make like a perimeter. So that'd be super helpful and uh, just give me peace of mind. So I'm gonna go explore that side real quick. And if there's anything cool, I'll show you. If not, I'll come over here, start clearing some spots out and uh, setting up camp. All right, there really wasn't anything over there. So while I have sun, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. So I got my chainsaw, got my chaps on, work gloves and glasses. If I learned anything from the ranch rescue, it's I better be safe or you guys will kill me if the chainsaw doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and start clearing some of this out. <laughs> I got all the little trees right here out of the way. There are still uh, rocks and stuff underneath. I'm not worried about that too much. I'm gonna take my rake and I'm gonna try to get all the leaves and rocks and stuff out of the way. That way I can kind of see what we're working with and then uh, it's not underneath the tent. All right, so I got some of these leaves out of the way. The good thing is, once I set the tent down, I'll push the leaves out more because I'm gonna have a fire going tonight. And so I'm gonna make sure that the embers or nothing like that can catch fire to the leaves. So as of right now, there's rock all under here from that size, this size, this. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect all the rocks and put them where I'm gonna try to potentially do a fire pit and then use that to kind of make a perimeter uh, around the fire as well. So you can see, I got a nice little uh, rock fire pit going on here. I just got a bunch of these rocks and just kind of uh, piled them up. There's really nothing to it, not rocket science or anything, but I figured it'd give me just a little bit of a wind block from the wind if it gets kind of crazy tonight. And then also kind of keep the embers and whatnot uh, in the fire pit when they're, whenever it's just like the coals and stuff on the bottom. This will be my uh, source of heat tonight. But I have to say I was uh, a little, I don't know. I was kind of second guessing myself out here. I was like, what am I doing? I don't know what in the world I am doing out here in the woods by myself. I don't know any neighbors or nothing. I don't know where this white truck starts pulling up and I'm just like, oh man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who these people are. I heard the people down there don't ever come out here. So they drive by, they don't say anything, and then they come back by. And it was four older uh, people, two couples, and they were the nicest people ever. And they basically welcomed me to the area and said, this is a great place to uh, be. They've been living out here since like the 80s, mid 80s. And then they sold their cabin and moved into the city, didn't like it and came back. And so, they pretty much told me, if you need anything, you come to our house, you knock on the door, and you got it. Don't worry about it. What? Um, Oklahoma, so far, I'm very impressed with the people here. You guys are the absolute nicest people. It just, uh, I met some people at Lowe's earlier, and they were extremely nice. So I have a really good feeling about this now. I am not second-guessing it at all at the moment. And I need to go get the tent because the sun's going down. I talked to them for a little bit, so that kind of put me a little behind. But I probably have like an hour until the sun goes down because I got out here around 2.30 or 3. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tent, set that up, and then i got to start building a perimeter and hopefully get some kind of tarp or something over in case it does rain. So as of right now, i got my tent up. I didn't think I needed to show you guys that. It's setting a tent up, but of the tent, fireplace, chair, and on the inside, I got a cot, I got some blankets, pillow, sleeping bag, another sleeping bag, more blankets, some gloves, a face mask, first aid kit, and a lantern, some rope, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rope and some tarp and try to uh, put some kind of cover over this. So if it does rain, it'll just go off the other way and I don't have to worry about that. So I think even more deer were walking down there, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you're able to hear that on the uh, camera or not, but I didn't get to see it, but I think it was some deer. It sounded like it did on the other side, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually met some of the neighbors earlier, like I said, and they said that some huge deer come out here. I mean, huge. So never know. There might be some deer right up here in the morning whenever I uh, wake up from the camp. So the uh, sun is starting to set. I got my tarp up. It doesn't look the uh, absolute best here, but it is what it is. If it rains, I'll hit and it'll go that way. And where that tree stump is right there, it kind of goes down in there where the tree rotted out. So I'm hoping the water will hit and run off and uh, I'll be all right. I'm not worried about covering the uh, fire because it's raining. It is what it is with the fire. I'm not gonna end up uh, trying to melt the tarp, but uh, I got some firewood cut right here. It's uh, bigger logs and then there is just a ton of small stuff around here. But now what I'm gonna do is a bunch of this stuff that's already uh, dead and broken. I'm gonna go ahead and try to create some kind of uh, perimeter around the uh, tent. It's not gonna be the best, but at least it'll keep something out. It'll have to make a lot of noise before getting in. And then uh, I got me an old freedom stick to uh, keep me company tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. All right, guys, I know it's uh, dark now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this fire going right there. But I know this isn't much, but as you can, but as you can see, I do have um, a nice border right here on this side of the tent. So I got that bordered all the way across. Not that it's anything great, but it's enough that if something were to walk up, they'd have to uh, get through that first and it would kind of alert me enough that I can get my uh, freedom stick. And then um, over here in the front, I kind of left, you know, more of the natural type stuff. And this is why I set it up here in the first place. But as you can see, we got all these trees and stuff kind of here in the way. So it's kind of blocking the tent some. So I pretty much am gonna use what God gave me today to survive tonight. And that is the uh, natural fence and then all the wood and rock to uh, heat myself and make a fireplace and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, fire started. I brought some um, uh, charcoal that lights extremely fast to get this started. I only need one piece, so let's get a fire started. All right, all right so let's go ahead and get this fire started. Hopefully we can get it going. I think that'll uh I think that'll work pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fire going a little bit more. And it make me feel a little better knowing that uh I got heat. Alright guys, so like I told you earlier, I only had about half a day. Um so I just tried to get the tent set up. I got the fire going out here 
pretty good. So I'm gonna end up uh, eating, gonna edit my video, and then uh, crash out and wake up early. So it was a lot of work. I would say I did pretty decent for the first half day. I'm not even gonna consider this the real day. I knew coming out here, I'd only be able to uh, get a couple hours of work in. And so being able to get a fire and a shelter with the tarp over it in case it rains, a bunch of firewood. I have water right over here and I brought some food with me so I'm set. So pretty much uh, I'm happy with the first half day is what I'm gonna call it. So I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep very, very well. I don't think it's gonna get cold tonight. So I may end up sleeping just in my boxers to be realistic, but rain is coming on uh, Saturday. So hopefully uh, tomorrow I can get a lot of work done. I can start coming up with a plan on what I'm gonna do, kind of uh, start to clear some land and do all that. So guys, thanks so much for watching. This is my first official night off grid. I'll let you guys know how it goes in the morning. Hopefully I'll do a Coffee the Crockers in the morning as well if you guys want to go watch that. So thanks for uh, checking out the vlog today. It is uh, interesting doing this on my own. I normally have Jaylene, as you guys know. So being out here on my own is a little bit of a struggle. And it's a lot of a struggle when it comes to not having anyone to talk to. But it's a part of the learning curve and a part of uh, the whole reason I'm out here is to basically... Uh, find myself and find the new me so i am extremely excited for this this is something i've been looking forward to for a while so if you like this video guys please subscribe hit the notification bell all that cool stuff i am going to start doing stuff a little more primitive and off grid i'm not gonna um try to have you know too much technology going on but i don't want to live in a tent forever so I don't know what the future has for me, but we'll find out at the same time. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to eat, and I'll see you guys in the morning.